Hello, my name is David, this is Ross, and we're from uh, Castor Studios. Uh, we've put together a small series of videos just to show you how to care and uh, maintain that product line, and also how to fix it if, it needs, if you're broken, it needs fixing. So today we're going to talk about uh, sealing pieces. Now, when um, the pieces come out of the factory, we, we put on a, an acrylic sealer, and um, the reason we do that, twofold really, it gives it a bit of depth, and it also kind of finishes the piece and uh, makes it more manageable so there's no excess stain or on your hands in the stores and that kind of thing. So uh, that sealer will eventually, uh, in, in an outside environment, uh, burn off and uh, it can be reapplied. Really not necessary, a lot of people don't, 99% of people don't reapply it. But if you want to kind of refresh a piece and, and put on another coat, then, then it is possible to do that. Now, we use an acrylic sealer. Uh, it's water-based, it's, uh, it's not toxic. Um, it's available from hardware stores. They do vary in solid contents, so uh, the higher solid contents, the more of a gloss you'll get. So you have to be a little careful, and we recommend doing a little test area just to make sure that uh, it's not going to be too shiny for your uh, likings anyway. Um, now there is a way, if it, if it does come out too shiny, uh, that will eventually dull down with the weather anyway. Uh, but if you get like a little green scrubbing, which is one over there. We have a little piece of one here. So a little green scrubby, something like that. You can go over the piece like that and it will take off a bit of the finish and it will dull it down so you can always get away with it that way. Um, we've also uh, heard um, that you can uh, put a little bit of water-based paint in these uh, products and uh, mix it up very well just to give it a kind of different tint if you wanted to um, just uh, finish a piece in, in, a, in a more of a uniform color. That's possible as well. We're not going to talk about that too much today. Today Ross is going to show us how to uh, reapply sealer. Okay. All right. So the piece that I've chosen to do, it actually, uh, it has not been sealed. Um, it's just going to show you uh, really well uh, what the sealer actually does to the to the color to give it dip. So, um, as they mentioned, it's a water-based acrylic concrete sealer that you can get at the hardware stores. It is. It's very very simple to use. It's going to look like milk. Um, the most important thing is to make sure that the piece, it, it'll be as per the instructions on the, on the bottle, but the piece needs to be really warm. The, the warmer it is, the, the better that the, uh, the sealer is going to take to the piece. Um, I've had this one in a heater, in front of a heater because it's cold outside right now, but I've had it in front of a heater for about an hour and a half. It's probably, it's probably 25 degrees Celsius warm, the piece. Um, it doesn't need to be that warm, but it's going to speed up the process for us today. We use a pump sprayer. You can apply it with a brush if you want to. Uh, brushes tend to leave little air bubbles on them, which, which leaves little bumps on them. So um, a pump sprayer is, uh, is the best and the easiest way to go. Uh, there, there's no problem about how much you put on there. You can, when you're applying it, you can overspray it and uh, the excess will run off. So uh, it's, uh, it's as easy as this. This is the first time I've used this pump, so we'll just get it going. It does go on, like I said, like milk. Um, you just want to tip it up and get underneath your spots. It takes very little to do a piece. A liter of this would, would do 20 or 30 pieces. So um, just to, to keep it very simple, uh, that's it. It's done. If you have a piece that's going to collect them in there, collect the, the sealer, you just want to tip it out. So, uh, so that's it. In, in 10 or 15 minutes, we'll be able to uh, we'll finish the video, but we'll come back and, and show you the, uh, the finished product of that. Okay. We probably should have mentioned yep. uh, <clears throat> maybe give it a wash first before you put on the sealer. Just uh, again, recommending yep. Great hot, idea. soapy water and a uh, sponge is probably the best way of doing that. So we'll just leave that for a few minutes and come back and, and have a look and see what the finished product is like. Okay. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. We've uh, applied the sealer and let it dry. Uh, the piece was quite warm, so it didn't take too long. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty much dry now. And you have that kind of wet look on it. It's just a, kind of a low sheen. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good.